Good morning, students. Today I will continue the lesson Human Body Digestive System in Class Six Biology. Today I will explain you the elementary canal, the different organs which are found in the elementary canal and the functions of each organ. As you all know that elementary canal, or we can also say it is the digestive system of our body. That is the human body consists of different organs. and each organs has particular functions now what is actually the alimentary canal it is a long hollow tube like structure and it starts from the mouth and ends up to the anus now we we'll start if we start the starting from the mouth or the oral cavity which is called so what is the main function of the mouth or the oral cavity it helps in the ingestion of food ingestion of food means taking the food inside our mouth and we take the food from our hand and we put the food inside our mouth and what does mouth contain mouth contains teeth and the function of teeth is that teeth helps to tear the food or makes the complex food into small pieces and this oral cavity or the mouth consists not only of teeth it also consists of tongue as well as salivary glands you all know that in our in the adult person there are 32 permanent teeth are there and these type of teeth four there actually there are mainly four types of teeth and what are these four types of teeth these are the incisors canines premolars and molars now how many incisors are there incisors are four in number and the main function of incisor is that it helps in biting the food second type of teeth is the canines which are two in number and it helps in tearing the food third is the premolar number is four pre four type, uh, type of premolars are there in our mouth and it helps in chewing and grinding the food and the fourth one is the molars which are six in numbers and molars help in chewing crushing and grinding of food so these are the four different types of the teeth which helps to tear chew or grind the food and make the foods complex food into simpler forms and the second thing which is present in our mouth is the tongue now you all know that tongue is what tongue mainly contains saliva and from the tongue only the food we take we swallow the food and this food goes into the into our esophagus and from there it goes into our stomach and tongue not only swallow the food but it also helps in tasting the food whether it is bitter sour salty what type of food means the taste of the food can also be detected by the tongue and this tongue also contains saliva which means the tongue contains salivary glands is mostly present in our mouth and this salivary glands contains saliva which help in the digestion of food so this is about the oral cavity oral cavity mostly consists of teeth tongue and salivary glands now second thing is the organ is the pharynx what is pharynx it is actually the wide muscular tube like structures and this pharynx is a, it is a common passage for both food as well as air so food and air both passes through the pharynx but when the food passes inside our pharynx through the through the esophagus then that time the passage of the air closes and when the air pass, passes means the passage for the food closes so they do, so that both of them do not mix together and the third one is the esophagus which is a tube like structure we all know as we have actually drawn the diagram in the previous class it is a tubular structures and it starts from the mouth and ends up to the stomach and the main function of the esophagus, uh, esophagus is that it helps to Uh, transport the food from mouth to the stomach so it is uh, actually it pushes the food inside our stomach now after the esophagus comes the stomach main organ of the food where the digestion of the food takes place and this stomach 
X is expandable and also J shape like this type of shape it has and it is also sac like structures we can say bag like structures which contain some gastric juices also and not only they contain gastric juices they also contain digestive enzymes like pepsin, renin which help in the digestion of food. After the stomach we comes to the small intestine. Small intestine is actually a narrow coil tube like structures and uh, it consists mainly of three parts that is the upper duodenum, middle jejunum and the third layer is called the ilium. And the main function of small intestine is that it helps in the digestion of food and not only digestion of food mainly takes place in the stomach but the absorption of food takes place in the small intestine. So small intestine has some uh, villi that is finger like structures which are present in the small intestine and these villi like structures they help to increase the surface area for the absorption of food. So main function of the small intestine is it helps in the absorption of the food and these absorption surface area uh, is increased increases because of the villi which are present in the small intestine so that more and more nutrients which we eat they can be absorbed through the small intestine. After the small intestine comes the large intestine. The difference between the small intestine and large intestine is that small intestine is means its length is large but the thickness is less but large intestine is wider than the small intestine and uh, Large intestine mostly consists of three parts cecum, colon and rectum and these three parts whatever the uh, food which is absorbed and the food which is not absorbed that is mainly comes to the large intestine that is through the cecum, colon, colon and rectum and from there it enters the anus. So anus is the last opening of the digestive system or we can say elementary canal which consists of some sphincter type of muscles which helps to adjust or expel the undigested food outside the body. So these are the mainly uh, different organs of the elementary canal and uh, as I have told you some digestive glands are present which also help in the digestion of the food and these uh, digestive glands are of three types mostly salivary glands liver and pancreas and salivary glands I have already told you salivary glands mostly it is present in the mouth and the main function of the salivary glands is that it contains saliva so it helps in the uh, digestion of food as, and as well as uh, make the food semi solid so that the food can be easily digestible and second one is the liver liver uh, mainly secretes the bile juice which also help in the digestion of food and uh, the pancreas contains pancreatic juice which also helps in the digestion of food. So these are the three glands which are mostly uh, found in our uh, body in the elementary canal that is the salivary glands which contains saliva and actually the digestion of food starts in the uh, mouth because mouth contains saliva and uh, liver is also type of digestive gland which uh, secrete uh, bile pigments so we can say bile juice and the pancreas secrete the pancreatic juice. So this is about the elementary canal. Uh, you have to draw the diagram of the elementary canal in your copy as well as uh, whatever the, it is written on the blackboard you try to write and understand the topics and whenever I will take the google meet I will clear your notes. Thank you.